Welcome back to 7 at 4. You know, the holidays are here. And if you were on a budget or maybe you'd like to be, we've got just the person in the house to help us out. Author of 50 Ways to Pinch Pennies, Angela Stika Snyder, a.k.a. Taxanista. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us, Angela. Thank you. And as you know, I'm an IRS enrolled agent, which is really a fancy way of saying an accountant. <laughs> and so Perfect. I love saving money. Yes. And okay. hey, our viewers love to save yes. money. I love to save money, especially around the holidays. Now, Absolutely. before we get into that, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. So I'm an accountant. I have a firm mm -hmm. called Taxanista, but I grew up with a single mom. So we had to count every single penny. And even though life is a little different for me now, I still have those values. And yeah. no matter how much you have, you always want to save and just do the best for you and your family. Yeah, and you know, Angela, we were saying earlier that sometimes during the holidays you can really feel uh, pressure to get everyone gifts. Yes. But, um, you know, there are some numbers that really put things in perspective that yes. you have for us today. Can you share those with I us? I do, actually, yes. Experience surveyed over 56 people surveyed go into too much stress because they're so, they're so overwhelmed with mm -hmm. how much they spend over the holidays. Yeah. And actually, 43% people said they cannot even enjoy the holidays mm -hmm. because of how much they know they're going to be spending. Yeah, that makes sense. Which is just, you know, too much stress. And I know, too, that um, when you have uh, lots of people you do have to buy for, uh, you can sometimes feel like, okay, maybe I need to spend $5 yes. here, 50 here, 20 here, and uh -huh. it can add up really fast. It can. So what is the advice okay. you would give someone who maybe has a lot of people they need to yes. buy for this year but is on a budget? Yes, I have a perfect idea. I've okay. done this for years. You can come up with a signature or ornament. Ah, so okay. for instance, you give everybody you know an ornament. I so love this that. year I'm doing this little this little um, reindeer and his little <laughs> legs so move. Cute. Okay? So I know you've got office friends, you may have people at your church, you may have people in your neighborhood. Yeah. You've got different categories of people. Yeah. Come up with something that's super cute. Show them that yeah. ornament. Oh, give they it. took off of it. Never mind. That's okay. really cute. That's I love cute. how it's got tax and Tax and written on I put it. the year on there. You could do a you could have a, a, a specialty one that's made. Look at you that. Know, anything and that way everybody's <laughs> gonna remember you. I love or, that. Or you remember things that happen to people throughout the year. Okay. Maybe they got some puppies. Oh, yeah. Maybe, like my son, just started at ASU. And you're a proud mama. I'm a proud mama. Love it. And so when you remember, because people are going to remember how you make them feel. Yeah. And so when you do something special like that, they're going to remember how you make them feel. And you can do it on a budget because you can get really intricate ones yeah. or inexpensive. And I feel like, too, um, you've put thought into it. Yes. You know, that matters. So. And it really uh -huh. makes them think, wow, they really thought about what's happening in my life. Absolutely, yes. Um, and also, you talked about an experience, giving someone an experience right. will so, help them remember. Yes, because you're, they're going to remember that. They're mm -hmm. going to remember how you make them feel versus what you unwrapped and gave them. Yeah. yeah. So I like the idea of a white elephant exchange. Ooh, okay? those are fun. Oops. I like white so, elephants. Let's say you've got your 10 friends. Okay. okay I'm just going to stick with 10 because it's easy. Okay. So everybody gets a number. You put it into the bucket. Everybody pulls the number out. Okay. The first person who gets number one, okay, gets to pick any of the unwrapped gifts. Okay. So everybody brings a gift. You set a dollar amount. So instead of bringing gifts for everybody in your family, come up with an, a gift exchange. We've done this too. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. You can do gag gifts or real gifts. I know. Okay. We usually do gag gifts, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> but keep the kids out. And the person who gets number one picks any unwrapped gift. Right. So you want to be number 10. Number 10. Yes. Because you get to pick the best unwrapped gift there or the final wrapped gift. And don't you get to steal from yes, someone too? you get to steal. Yeah. So the goal is to be number 10 <laughs> in that. I love that game. Another it's thing great. is a cookie exchange mm -hmm. because we all love baking cookies and, and treats for the holidays. Who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> so, but it can be very expensive. Mm -hmm. So why don't you get together again with those 10 friends? However many friends come is however many dozen you bring. Oh, you get to pick it. one variety, one variety, and then go with 10 dozen and come back with 10 dozen of different varieties. Oh, this is great. I love so it. So that's a great way to save money also. Yeah, I, li I like this. And um, last thing for yes. you, Angela, where can people find your book? They can find it, find it at taxanista.com. Okay, perfect. And by the way, the best party I ever went to on Christmas was a white elephant. 7 at 4, right back after this break.